Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, check out my Instagram for all of the latest updates, and today, let's get right into it. So today's video is all about my Balenciaga Hourglass bag, and this bag is so cool. This is so underrated, and this is honestly one of my favorite handbags to use, especially for an everyday basis. This one is just so great. The back pocket even does fit your phone. We will be going over all of the details about it and why this bag is just so great. And I can promise you, once you have one of these, you will literally need them all. So this bag, I love it so much. So let's get right into it. Okay, and here's the close-up of the amazingly cute Balenciaga Hourglass bag in the size small, which honestly to me kind of feels more like a medium. But this is so cute, so perfect. I love this bag so much. The detailing of it is absolutely incredible. Everything about it, the B logo is amazing. Definitely one of my favorite parts. Personally, I really love the bottom and I love how it curves down here. It's just so cool, so cute, such a unique shape and I really, really love it. Now the stitching on here is really, really good. I am really impressed with the stitching and it's honestly like 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Like I said, I have used this, so you might have some tiny, tiny marks on it, but it's really, really easy to clean. All you do is take some cold water and just wipe it right off. But this one is so cute. I really do like it, especially like the handles. I was worried about the stitching on the handles because when you move it and when you're like swinging around, is it sturdy enough or does it need to be like adjusted at all? but it actually is really sturdy and that's why I'm really happy with the stitching. And then for the hardware, all the hardware will be detailed with Balenciaga on it. So that's a really cute touch. The back detailing is really, really good. And we do have one giant back pocket, which is actually really good because it does fit your phone. It's not too tight to get back in here either. Like it's not gonna hurt your hand going in and out, but it's really, really cool. I honestly love it. And then for the sides, we do have this detailing which when you know, once again, is cute. Very, very Balenciaga for the shape. And I'm picking it up and doing like just a full look at the bag. So cute. I really do love this. Now I have to point out one thing about this bag, which is the color. The color, of course, it is white. And with white, you would think it would get really dirty, but this actually holds up really, really good. I have had no issues with this white color but it does have two different white colors. So you will notice when we open it, the inside 10 times wider than the outside, but it was like that the very second I got it. Now for the quality of the hardware, I would also like to mention that this is really hefty and really, really sturdy. It took like three months of using this bag to even get this to move. It was so like, if I put it here, it would stay just like that straight out. But now since I have used this bag for probably about three months, it does move. And to be honest, there is no color transfer on this bag. Like I said, I have never once cleaned this bag. You would think it would probably be more dirty and it would probably have like a yellow tint, but it honestly really, really doesn't. Like, especially like in good lighting, it's honestly really good and I am really impressed. I was so scared to own a white bag. I never thought I would own a white bag, but honestly, after having this one, 10 times easier to use. I'm not worried about it being white and getting dirty and all together, I really love it. And also for the Balenciaga Hourglass bag, they do come with a crossbody strap, which I honestly really, really love. It makes it so much easier to use sometimes and it's just so great and I absolutely love it. For the interior of the bag, you will have one zip pocket in the back, which is really weird because everyone keeps doing this lately when it comes to designer brands. Right here, this is where it actually pops out and not like on that side. So it does kind of give it more of like a diagonal shape instead of just like a flat pocket shape, but it is really smooth to slide your hand into. Of course, we do have a serial number on the inside. And then for the actual interior of the bag, it does fit a lot more than you would think. You would think because since it curves with the hourglass shape, you might fit less than normal, but it's actually really surprising how much you can fit in here. I do have a what fits inside coming very, very soon. However, in the front, we also do have these two pockets, which are made out of calfskin leather. Now, my La Medusa bags have these as well, and I really did grow adapted to them because it's one of my favorite features of a handbag. And then when I go ahead and open it, you can see what I mean by having two different shades of white. Now, the outer texture one, they do have a grain, so it's a little bit more of an off-white color. And then inside, it is like 
pure white. Super, super white. You can definitely, definitely see the difference. Definitely right here. Like, I think you could say this is like more like olive shade rather than this, but I'm not sure if that's like the right term, but you can definitely see what I mean by the difference. Now the inside quality, this leather is really, really smooth and it's not treated at all. So you can see that I did scratch it quite a bit with my nails, especially right here by trying to open it up. This button, it's so hard when it comes to like the magnet like it's really really sturdy and great quality but because of that sometimes it's hard to open so you know you're like digging trying to open it and then you know that's how like you will like put some scratches on it but you can see here that on the actual button there's no damage there's no like wear and tear around here so that's really really cool but again you know like i said up here this is where you're gonna get all of your wear and tear but honestly, not that bad. I would never like not recommend it just because of that. Now I did go ahead and I did grab my mom's iPhone. I myself have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, same size as this one. Both of them will fit in the back pocket and it's so cool. So unlike the Chanel Maxi flap, nowadays you can actually keep your phone in the back pocket. For the length of the bag, it will be about 12 inches. And then for the measurements, it will be 10 and a half inches going across. It does land on like 10 and a half right here. And then for the side of the bag, it will be exactly four inches. But if we go ahead and move this right here, this is the actual inside part of the bag then it will turn into three and a half inches. Another fun fact about the Balenciaga Hourglass bag is there's even a toy version of it. So Rainbow High currently makes cute little fashion handbags for their dolls, and they do have this Balenciaga Hourglass inspired one. Honestly, how cute is this? Especially to add as like a cute little keychain to your Balenciaga. This is just so adorable and just so cute, I absolutely love this. It even has like the hourglass shape going on and so cute. Again, you can hang it on the side for a keychain, which would be really, really cute or just hang it in the front or just stand next to each other. Really cute and I really do love it. And if you are wondering if the hardware will touch the ground, it actually won't. So there is still some space under the bee, so the bee will not hit anything in the way. Okay, so with all that being said, I think this bag is so cute. I honestly really do love it. I do think it is worth the price tag because I'm just so personally obsessed with using this and carrying it around. I absolutely love it. I think the price is a little justified and I would totally recommend it. So for this bag, they do make it in so many different types and styles. So of course they do make this in the color gray and the color gray is just so beautiful. It is my favorite color. So I definitely love that, especially in pink too. It's just so pretty. However, they also make these two in crocodile as well. So the gray crocodile is just so cool. 100% me, I would love to have it so much. And once again, in pink as well, I would love to have the crocodile in so many different colors. I mean, they have it in the black crocodile, which is just so classic and so cute. They do have it in a burgundy one, which is absolutely beautiful, and I would love that deep red. They do have a snakeskin one as well, and the snakeskin is actually good because it's not real snakeskin, so you don't have that like horrible texture on the handle when you pick it up. So it is 100% approved by me. I do have the snakeskin in my New Orleans vlog, so I will have the vlog linked right above if you want a closer look at it, but it's so cute and I honestly love that. And then of course we cannot forget about the crystals. So this bag in the crystal version is so, so cute. I would love it so much. Just imagine this entire thing shining in crystals. It's just so cute. Now, if you can't really like afford like the crystal price, they do make it in glitter as well, which kind of looks the same. But of course, there's just like nothing like the crystals I really wanted. But at this point, I kind of don't know if I want this one plain in crystals or if I want it in crystals that say Balenciaga all over it. To be honest, I would get both of them hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. However, they do make this bag in a denim version too. And the denim, I'm not gonna lie, denim really did catch on to me, especially when it comes to handbags. I just love the texture of it and everything about it. So this one is really cute in denim. So for this one, they do make it in three different sizes. They do have the extra small version, which is usually what people have. I have the small version, which you don't really see too much of this one because of course it is bigger. This one, just for like a comparison, it is taller than my Chanel Trendy. It's even taller than my La Medusa bag up here. I do have another La Medusa bag down here behind me in black. And then I have the Fendace one right here, but this bag is taller than it. So that is like a cool fact. So it's just so good and so great for everyday use. I really do love it. This is my favorite size. But now they do make this in a super large size as well, which is called the Crush Bag. 
Now the crush bag I would absolutely love, especially for travel. It would be such a great airport bag. I would love it so much, but I just don't like the texture of it. If they did make it in like a solid leather or even just in like a solid pattern in general, I would like it. But like the crushed up leather vibes, I just don't like because over time it will probably like rip apart and stuff because I know the new Chanel bag, I forgot what that one is called, but I will have it up on screen. A lot of people are having that same issue with that material. The material is coming apart after a couple uses. So I definitely don't want that. However, if they do make it in a different quality, I will 100% get the giant one because it would just be so perfect for so many different reasons. And then of course they also do make this in the super, super small version as well, which is actually a wallet on chain. So if you do want like a cute little tiny version of it, they do have it. And honestly, that is really cute. I'm not gonna lie. I would 100% get the wallet on chain version because like I said, this style, the hourglass bag, 100% caught on to me where to be honest, I honestly need them all. Like I could have just as many of these as I do the La Medusas and it's just so cool because I would, I probably see a good like 13 to 15 of these in my collection someday. So absolutely love this one. I cannot recommend it enough. For this bag, they do make it in one other variation as well, which is the Gucci collab. So back in the day, I always thought this bag was cute, but I, like I said, it wasn't for me. This is never a bag that I honestly thought that I would ever get. However, after having it and becoming so obsessed with it, yes, I love it to where now I want all of the different variations, like I said, but since I love it, now I have a reason to get the Gucci collab one. So if you didn't know, Gucci did collab with Balenciaga last year. So they did make this hourglass bag in the Gucci monogram with the Gucci print all over it. And it's honestly so cute. But like I said, the bag, I just never thought I would personally get it. But like I said, now that I'm obsessed with it, totally gives me a reason to get the Gucci one. So I totally understand it now. And to be honest, this is just so cute and I would love to have them all. And then they do make this bag in a crocodile ombre one as well. But to be honest, I don't really care for the ombre unless it's in the black and white because it just looks so cute and I would love to have that. And then they also do make this bag in a shearling version as well. And you know that I love shearling, but for some reason, the shearling version just doesn't sit right with me. Now, I don't know if it's just like it's overdone with the shearling to where it kind of loses the shape and kind of loses the curve at the bottom, but there's just something about it that just doesn't like appeal to me specifically. It is really cute and this is an option that's out there. Okay, so you know I love to film my close-ups of my bags, but I also love to get this perspective too, just because you get another, you know, perspective of it. So of course, you know, it does have the strap, which is really cute and I really do love it. And then when we open it up, it is really, really hard to open sometimes. Like it's a really sturdy magnet, but the white is just so beautiful. It does say Balenciaga right here in the bag. And then it's just so cute. Now I have used this a lot, so it might be a little bit dirty inside, but we do have the two pockets right here, which are made out of calfskin leather. Really, really soft and really, really cool. Just like the La Medusa bags, how those pockets are. But this one is like a lot thicker than the La Medusa pockets. So that's really cool. And then of course we have a zipper. And then for the zipper, I don't know why all the brands are doing this, but it's not like just like a straight zipper. It's like a diagonal one. And all of the brands have been doing this in my handbags. However, you know, you can fit your hand in it. It's not bad at all, even though like it's slanted. In here, you know, plenty of room. You could still fit your water bottle. And it's just so cute and so cool. Absolutely love this one. And it's just so great. And then for me on my lovely handbag shelf, of course I store this one directly right here. And it sits right behind my Chanel Trendy. So altogether, would I recommend this back to you? 100% yes, obviously I would. I love this one so much. It's honestly one of my favorite, favorite handbags. I honestly cannot recommend it enough. It's just so good. It's so thick, it's so sturdy, it's just so, so functional, has all of the room you need, all of the pockets. Once again, this is a magnetic closure and I absolutely love those, that is my favorite style of bag. So you just drop it and you can hear it lock. So perfect, I love it, it's just so good. The button, it does not come out, you can like even hold it right here just by the flaps and you can see that like the button is not gonna come off, the magnet is very, very strong and it's just so cool. The B, it doesn't hit the floor when you touch it. So it's just so cute. And this is really sturdy. This took maybe like three months of using just to get the B to move up and down. It was just so in there. So this is a really, really great quality. The hardware, the bag, the leather, everything about it, I just 100% recommend it. 
Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, tell me your thoughts on this specific handbag, and if there's anything from Balenciaga you would like, or just your thoughts on the brand in general, and have a great day. Au revoir.